I have an appreciation for architecture. Um, I don't confuse that with a deep understanding or an experience with it, but um, I have an appreciation for it. Uh, aesthetics and function, it's a connection to history. But I, I suppose that would go for anyone, you know, who appreciates architecture. Uh, for instance, uh, this place behind me, it's the Alan Herschel Carousel Museum. And it's where um, Herschel and Spillman uh, carousels were manufactured in the early 1900s. And the building right back here behind me is a roundhouse which houses one of the carousels. It was used for testing when they built those carousels. Um, it's a connection to history. Uh, someday I'll take you inside there. Right now it's closed for the season. I'll take you inside there to <clears throat> show you around. It's a pretty neat place. You know, they've got uh, hand-carved carousel horses and animals. Sometimes they have craftsmen who come in to make new horses or fabricate them to replace ones that are damaged. It's pretty cool. And the reason this whole thing with architecture comes up today for me is I just got done watching Josiah's videos, four of them about Norwich Cathedral. I saw that he had some videos up uh, about Norwich Castle, and I just looked back a little further and I saw the ones about the cathedral, so I watched those first. I still have to get back to the to the castle and castle museum videos. My, my experience, you know, for if that's what you want to call it, with architecture is limited to um, buildings that are only 100 years old or so. Maybe some that are 200 years old. There are log cabins in Latchworth State Park. Two log cabins that are on a historic site that are from 1800. And I'll go back there with the camera. I've taken plenty of pictures. There's only so many pictures you can take with different angles of the, the joints. And, and the lines of those buildings. You know, anytime I'm in the park, I'll go back there for pictures. But um, here in the area, when in our, the city of Buffalo, uh, we've got you know three of we've got samples from three of the so-called icons of modern architecture: H. H. Richardson, Frank Lloyd Wright, and Louis Sullivan. Yeah, but the Lewis Sullivan Guarantee Building is fantastic. It's one of the first skyscrapers. I don't even know what it is. 13, 14 stories or something like that. It's a steel. I think, I believe that it is a uh, steel frame structure. The uh, Frank Lloyd Wright house, the Darwin Martin house, is on a campus with about four or five houses and buildings. I have some passes. I'm going to um, tour that in the spring. Uh, as it is the interior that's closed off so they're going to allow access into some inside some of the other buildings so it'll be pretty nice and then the H.H. Richardson complex it's uh, it used to be the Buffalo S Insane Asylum uh, New York State Insane Asylum on Forest Avenue in Buffalo it's uh, Richardson Romanesque style it's a beautiful building. In fact, I'm going to be going back there later this evening or back there. I've been by there and I've never really taken pictures I need to buy, get by there someday to take pictures. But my son um, called me up and wants to head there to take some pictures at night. So we're going to do that because it's illuminated. So maybe I'll put some pictures of that up. Maybe I'll do some video. Nighttime, I'm not so sure. But, um, yeah. You know, seeing Josiah's footage of that cathedral and seeing something that's a thousand years old. You know, I mean... I have an appreciation for architecture, but I don't have an experience with history in that sense. And I left a couple comments on his video saying that if I had a camera and I was there, he'd have to be dragged me out kicking and screaming when the place closed because I would spend all day taking pictures. It's the lines, you know, the aesthetics, the lines, um, shadows. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then, you know, today's modern architecture. I only have a couple of uh, first-hand experience in seeing some um, 
Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, it was designed by I.M. Pai. And uh, I've seen one of the buildings, I believe it's the Economics Department at Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland. I believe it's their building. It's designed by Frank Geary. Now that is one exotic building. Um, he's got plenty of examples out there, but that's pretty exotic. Anyway, it's... I need a greater exposure. And if I was in a country that had so much history, you know, anywhere in Europe, I suppose. Well, anyway, um, yeah. So, I'm going home to have dinner, and then I'm going to go out with my son and take some pictures and get some pictures of the Buffalo skyline at night, too. So, hey, ciao, folks. Vlog on.